So um, here's the script in the graph editor and I've uh, created a session here. Um, when the students uh, log in we can either um, include it into Moodle or we can give them a link and when they open it they will see um, this page where they are invited to type in their name and once they've done that um, if they come back they will see a, a button with their name so I've just opened four different students here so that we can see how it works so these are four different students and we also have another screen which is the teachers um, screen that uh, you will show on the projector and we differentiate that from um, this kind of uh, control panel uh, so right now everyone is waiting for the teacher to start to graph and uh, when we start the first activity here um, each student sees this image um, they can add a new tag so type anything and type add and then they can move this around um, and as you see it's an individual activity and the next activity so we see here the first line is the individual activities the third line is the group act the um, whole class activities on the projector mostly so when we click on the next the students see nothing and the teacher sorry I'm not logged in as the teacher here And the teacher sees the three items that were placed by the students. So all of the items of the students are on this picture and exactly where the students put them. So in the next activity, we form random groups. Here, I just made groups of two people because I wanted to make sure that out of the four students, we get two groups, but we can tweak the number. And here, I wasn't exactly sure how to do it. So I gave the students two different um, rich text fields. So here we see that Peter and Chen Li are in the same group and they can collaboratively edit. And Anna and Alia are in the same group as well. Um, in the next activity you see it's an individual activity and here I ask each student to vote individually. So the students see all of the different um, concepts and uh, so they see the same thing but um, you see that the votes are individual so if I do three votes for this and one down vote for this and we can now go to the next activity and these two will be shown so it will aggregate all the votes and it will show it on the teacher screen so now we can go here and we see that this one got three votes in total and this one got one negative vote and they are sorted according to the votes. The next activity um, lets the students see these um, four statements from the, from the, from the globalization uh, curriculum and um, they start out all in this neutral square and the students can then decide whether they should move it to homo homogenizing, fragmenting, um, or maybe they don't know. Uh, and you see the cha the color changes as you move them across the border. Um, these are this is an individual activity, and we don't have a debrief of this activity. So once the students are done, we will just move on to the next activity. Um, for the next activity, we agreed that the students should group by who they are sitting next to. So the way we do that is uh, someone can add a group and they will then join that group automatically and someone else, everyone will see that group and they can say I want to join Peter's group or they can say I want to create a new group and now Chen Li can choose whether he wants to join group 1 or group 2 so he can choose group 2 but of course Peter can leave group 1 and also join group 2 and so on so 
hopefully that's quite easy to understand. Um, anyone who is not joined the group by the time you go to the next activity will end up in uh, their own group together. So once we're f f done with the grouping, which should be quite quick, um, we have these three questions. So um, we s can add globalization. And here we see Alia and Chen Li were in the same group, so they see the same thing. Um, and while that is going on, we can see the answers live here on the dashboard. But um, once we go to the next activity, we actually show that same dashboard here on the projector view. So we can go and do a debrief. And that was the whole first graph.